Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So we are going to use Born Pretty. We're going to use Milky Jelly in number 13 and the Glitter Jelly in 06. So I'm just showing you the back of the bottles because these are the Hema Free ones. So um, these are the ones I recently got in the PR. So I'm going to do them on shorter tips today. I thought I would just do a shorter nail set. Um, so this is going to be really, really easy, very, very beginner friendly. So um, I will um, I will apply the first coat to all of the nails and then I will show you the second coat of the two polishes um, separately just so you can see how they build up. So this is the Milky Jelly and this is the Glitter Jelly. These are absolutely beautiful. So um, I cure my Born Pretty Gel polishes for 60 seconds in my, uh, in my LED light. I think it's 60 seconds in a UV, uh, 6 seconds in an LED and 2 minutes in a UV light, I do believe. Um, that's normally the normal sort of times with gel polishes. So you just want to put a thin, even layer on. Oh, these polishes are beautiful. Really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would do just a normal, normalish sort of length um, set today. Uh, I do do like doing the longer ones because obviously I have a little bit more room to sort of like play about a bit but it's also nice to do a short nail set as well um, and I do actually really like the length of these tips they're, they're just right just for like you know everyday wear um, so yeah uh, so this is the first coat um, and then this is the second coat so this is the second coat of the red and then I will show you the second coat of the glittery one as well. And then we'll have a look what we've got all together. So there you go. That's the second coat of that one. And then this is the second coat of the glittery one. This is absolutely beautiful. I wish you could see it in person. It's so pretty. The camera just doesn't do it just. It's absolutely stunning. So this is two coats. And there you go. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, so nice. So um, I've got out my mixing palette because we're going to do, um, uh, no, we're going to, yeah, we're going to do some like, kind of like strips. So um, I've got my liner brush out, so I'm just going to fill the brush up. So here we go. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like two kind of like strip bits. You'll know what I mean. So I'm going to just... Um, place the lines on first and then I will fill it in with my brush because if you were doing these on your own nails you wouldn't be I don't think you'd be able to go in with the brush from the bottle um, because it's quite a small area so I'm just that's the first one there and then I will do one a little bit further up so I'm going to leave a bit of a gap and then I will do this second one oh, I'm shaking <laughs> It doesn't matter if you don't get these perfect, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to create something very simple and, you know, something pretty simple, um, but very, very quick and easy to do. So, as I said, I'm just going to fill it in with my brush, just because um, I have a lot more control if I use my brush. Rather, I mean, you wouldn't be able to get in here with the um, brush from the bottle. so you can still see the glitter underneath as well um i did put two coats on um i think i did the second coat off camera i think i did i do have a discount code for born pretty as well it's knd10 all in caps um, i will have a direct link in the description box and i will put it in the pinned comment as well and i will also have the link to the x jelly polishes um, just so you can have a little look there is lots and lots and lots of different colors they're bringing out all different ones now um, which is awesome these are really nice to use so on this one I'm going to sort of like do kind of like a like kind of like a half moon but on one side of the nail just wanted to yeah just sort of add a little bit of detail a bit of interest to the nails um, so I will speed this bit up because yeah again I used I used my brush to be able to do it um I think I think I only put one coat on 
uh, did I put two coats? I think I only put one coat, I think. Because I quite liked you could still see the glitter underneath. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'm using a really long, <laughs> really long uh, liner brush. But, yeah, just use any brush that you've got. Um, it would be better to use a brush. Just so you have a bit more control. Because you don't want to, obviously, you don't want to get it all over your skin. Um, so, yeah. I'm a little bit out there, but that's okay. Just going to neaten it up a little bit. So, there you go. Oh, I do apply two coats. So, I'm just going to show you the second coat as well, just so you can see how how it builds up. And also, this will even it out a little bit, um, because obviously, these are jelly. So, you're going to have patches which may not be fully covered, because um, obviously, we're using it for kind of detail work. So there you go. There you go. That's what it looks like. Look how pretty that is. So pretty with that glitter as well. Oh, gorgeous. So on this one, I decided to use the glitter polish as a topper um, over the top of the red. This looks so pretty. The camera just doesn't do it justice. Oh, I don't know. It really brought out that kind of like that gold, um, the gold shimmer within the polish. Oh, Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. Uh, what am I doing on this one? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do like a little like cuff thing around the cuticle just with the uh, just with the red. And again, I will use my brush just to fill it in just because obviously I want to use what's left on my palette as well. Um, and I do believe I applied two coats again as well. You want to try and go in the same direction um, when using these so it doesn't get too patchy. So when you're applying it, make sure you're going in the same direction. Just one direction. Don't go don't go backwards and forwards. Just keep it going in the same the same direction. Just because um, you don't don't want it to be all uh, streaky and patchy. So I'm just gonna use my brush just to knead it up just a little bit more. I'm just going to use what's left on the palette and then I will put it onto the nail. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Oh, I love them. They are so pretty. Oh, so we're just going to do a little bit of stamping. I'm going to use Born Pretty Flower Yarn S002. And I'm also going to use the blue stamping polish from Born Pretty as well. And I'm going to use some stickers as well. So I'm just going to use one stamped image and then I'm going to do some sticker placement. Um, so, uh, I can't my mind just went completely blank then so um you want to apply your stamping polish clean up what you don't want and then position it on the nail where you want it and then stamp it down once you're happy so this is going to be the only image we're going to use and we're just going to stamp it just on two nails um just because these yeah i just wanted a little bit more kind of in the background so I will what I do is I take the strip of the dots and I will finish that nail off on this one I did exactly the same thing on this one that I did on the one that you've just seen um, but I do remove the dots um, off this one off camera uh, later on um, but yeah you can leave them in if you want to I just wanted to just add just something just a little, little bit more to it just to break it up a little bit um, I don't know whether all these nails are really a set, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I would wear it as a set, most definitely. You know what I'm like over here. I like, I can't have a nail with nothing on. I need to have something on all of the nails. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just me. Uh, so here I'm just I'm just showing you, I'm just cleaning up my, uh, my sample plate and my scraper. I use pure acetone because it hasn't got any additives in it or anything like that. And it dries quicker as well. Um, because if you use a uh, normal nail polish remover, you could have like, um, you know, added bits into it, oils, vitamins, all that kind of stuff. And it could, 
it can sit in your images you may not be able to get it out which then it will just sit there and it will make the this picking up the images that much more harder so yeah i do recommend using pure acetone on the metal stamping plates on the acrylic ones you can't use pure acetone because you obviously it's acrylic you'll break it down in the end um and then that's when you would use a uh, non-acetone nail polish remover but because this is a metal one we can use pure acetone so these are the stickers i've had these such a long time and i just never got around to using them so these were a little bit fiddly i'm not gonna lie <laughs> you know what i'm like with stickers so yeah i mean these 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 ones you don't have to be so delicate with but obviously you you still got to be careful with them but they're they're thicker than just you know than your normal stickers if you've got packs like this you'll know you'll know what i'm saying so they're a bit more sort of robust so you can sort of you know peel them up and that you still have to be careful but you know if you're if you're just starting out and you're using these stickers then you know be gentle but you don't have to be like really really gentle with them because they, they you know, it would take a lot to to rip these so i haven't wiped the tacky layer off the tacky layer is still on the nail so what i'm doing is i'm just gently peeling it up and moving it about where i want it to be before i actually fully push down on it once i'm happy with the placement then i will go in and smooth it all out you want to make sure it's um definitely all stuck down to the nail you don't want to get any lifting or anything and make sure any overhang you've got you cut it um just because obviously that can peel and then it will just peel off no matter what top coat you've got on there if you've got an overhang and you catch it it's going to peel so yeah just just be conscious of that um i'm gonna take this little butterfly i do have to sort of like change this uh not change it kind of trim one of the um antennas down because it had like a thick bit of like plastic stuff in it i don't know um but i just got a pair of scissors and just slightly peeled it up a little bit here i am trying to get it off my tweezers these tweezers are really good um because obviously they've got the the pointy ends on which make it easier and then obviously you've got the silicone bit on the other end as well which then makes that even easier for you to be able to push down so here I am, I'm trying to push the antenna down, um, the, this side, but it just had like a, I don't know, like a hard lump of like sticker to it, I don't know. So what, what I did was I just gently peeled it back and then I cut it off. And then I'm going to go in with this sticker and I'm going to place it in this corner. So yeah, I'm just going to select what stickers I feel and then I will, uh, once I'm happy, I'll push them all down. So as I said, this is going to be a very, very simple, very beginner friendly as well. So here I am here, you can see it's got like a weird like tough bit on it. And I had to get it off because otherwise that would be really, really bumpy and you'd really be able to see it. So I trimmed it down. Um, so yeah, it's okay though. Um, and then on this one, I'm going to take this long one. I'm out of frame for some of this, so some of it will be skipped forward. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's just because it was quite late <laughs> when I was doing this set. Um, and yeah, I couldn't really see what I was doing. <laughs> Tired eyes. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to stick this one on. As you can see, I jumped forward a little bit. And then once I'm happy, I will start pushing it down. I'm not putting full weight on it. Once I know that I'm definitely happy with the placement, then I will really start pushing it down. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I will finish applying the stickers and then um, I do apply a matte top coat first, but I didn't like it in the matte. So this will be a glossy set. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave you here just to sit back and just enjoy the video. Um, and, yeah. I will hop back in very soon, okay?
so I will just continue applying these so as I said I do remove the dots I just take some pure acetone on a lint free wipe fold it up into like a point and then I know that I've got enough control um, over removing the image so yeah I'm just gonna <laughs> apply this on and then I will trim it um, and make sure you know there's no overhang so there you go so that's the top bit and then I will apply a bit at the bottom as well just to finish it off trying to grab it <laughs> I do add a tiny little bit um, onto this one just to finish it off just because it wasn't quite long enough um, but yeah I just wanted to incorporate the gold on all, across all of the nails and the blue as well so we're just going to take a butterfly with a blue outline and yeah this is this set pretty much finished so i'm just going to apply a as i said i apply the matte top coat which is obviously also from born pretty um and then i will show show you it in matte but then i will the end clip will be it uh in glossy with the super top coat also from born pretty so yeah so this one just yeah it just wouldn't just wouldn't come off i just couldn't get it i just couldn't get it where i wanted it to be um but yeah I'm just going to pop this. I just, I couldn't line it up where I actually wanted it to be. I don't know why. I just wanted it kind of, yeah, I just wanted it in the middle. But anyway, so this set is all done. So this is it. Uh, I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to apply the matte top coat and then I will show you it in matte, but I do prefer this in glossy. Um, so yeah, you'll have to let me know your thoughts down below. I know it was a very sort of, quick easy set but i want to do something which is very very beginner friendly and uh yep yeah, i think it turned out gorgeous my mum absolutely loves this absolutely loves it red is her favorite color anyway but she said that these polishes are beautiful give me one second so yeah you have to let me know your thoughts down below and i do hope you like the end result and i hope you enjoyed my video today so yeah just let me know any thoughts you have this is it in matte this is it in glossy, definitely need to be glossy. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Give this video a big thumbs up and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.